Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hypercraft. Today is episode 51 and today I'm recording this way in advance which I'm super excited about because that means hopefully I get to spend more time on it. This video usually goes up on a Tuesday and I'm recording this on a Friday, the day before episode 50 goes up. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the episode. Episode 50 was a special tour kind of video. So if you haven't watched it then I'm sure I'll put a link in the description or on the screen. And I've got an ideas board here. Now I put this up because, well, it looks quite nice and I need some ideas. And no one else has actually come over here to put any ideas up. I haven't really told anyone, but, you know, sometimes people write things on boards and stuff. But yeah, I'm kind of a little bit lost on what I need to build in here. I've been working on this for a few episodes now and I have really only completed the library. And I've only pretty much done at least half of the upstairs roof terrace thing. The library is looking awesome, you saw that, that last episode I think, and then this room up here, I commented, uh, not commented, I asked you guys in the comments, I don't know how, you know, uh, I would get up here, and one of you, I can't remember the name, I'm so sorry, but said that I should put a spiral staircase. Now I've tried different spiral staircases, I've tried the, the normal one that just goes around in a circle, and I've also tried this one here but I didn't realize that this kind of thing here I don't know I suppose that's where the front of the, the the kind of town hall is it kind of comes out a little bit and it comes out two blocks one two um, which makes it a little bit awkward uh, I've had to kind of make extra long things and then it comes up to here and then this kind of covers up most of this and it really isn't what I want I really want it to just look like this and this pathway to be all the way along here and, and to be look be able to look down at both sides um, without this being covered which makes it really awkward so I don't know if there's a different way I could do it I mean I tried loads of different things with the staircase it was unreal how many times I've tried doing the staircase I mean this does look very ugly I know um, I'm not gonna leave it this way at all but it's very very strange how it works and obviously we've got so many windows around the base that that it's just oh it's just impossible nearly um, even I'm struggling, and I'm someone that builds quite a lot. I don't really build staircases a lot, so maybe that is why. Maybe I need a bit of practice. But I think I'm going to do a little bit of research into Minecraft staircases a little bit and see if there's something maybe I could fit around this room. Uh, if not, I will probably have to find something else to do. Okay, so I'm building a staircase in the middle of the room, and if you look over there, you can see a little bit of blue through that gap there. A zombie literally just came up the stairs and went in the library. Ah, I may or may not know why he's gone in there. Is he after is he after Olaf? No, you're not after Olaf, you're over after me. What the hell, dude? I don't know why he goes in there. I know that they, they like um the villagers. Uh, let's kill this guy and hope another one doesn't spawn. It's actually daytime. Oh my god, I have the most powerful sword in the world that it is going to fry me. Oh no, that is just <laughs> that is so bad. I always forget I've got that sword. And then I get caught on fire. And then, yeah, that's just not fun, really. But anyway, actually, while I'm recording, I want to mention... Oh, look, he's excited. He's like, oh my god, you saved my life. Thank you very much. Um, Yeah, I uh, asked you guys in the comments for yesterday's... last Yesterday, not yesterday's video. Last video. Um, for names for the two snow golems. The one in the library bookshop and the one in the post office. Now, this name, Opal, is named by Wapzu. Wapzo? Not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, he named this librarian Opal, which I thought was just quite a nice little name. It just kind of matched. That's kind of what I thought. Anyway, and if I go, oh, weird like world hole thingy. Um, and in the post office, Olaf the post office clerk, which was named by Jerry Berry in the comments. So thank you again. I'm going to be doing this a lot more. So if I ever ask for any names or any ideas or anything, I'm going to try my best to... Um, name you guys in the video so that people know who gave me the idea or what or name idea or whatever it was and I'll be putting signposts up and stuff giving you guys credit for it and yeah I'm gonna do that more often okay so this room is now done I've actually found a purpose for it now the staircase I built in the center of the room which is why I have done this with it rather than make it something like the library where it's a room that you'd actually go into and do stuff and whatever um, so yeah, I've used it as a stairway because I had been thinking about how you get up to the roof terrace. Now that is the only way, that ladder over there is the only way up. 
at the moment. So uh, what we're actually going to do is uh, go up here. Now this actually leads straight to the roof terrace. It actually leads into the kind of restaurant area, the seating food area where the barbecue is. Uh, we have quite a natural looking staircase and floor. The floor is very similar to that one over there. I hear a spider somewhere, very, very loud. Um, I think he's in the caves below. I really need to light that up, I think. Um, but yeah, so I've gone kind of quite natural in here again. Um, very similar to the room in over there. And uh, yeah, if we come up here, I wasn't quite sure if I need to make this one block further out. I think it looks okay like it is. Um, and then you come up here and it is a little bit weird up here. This bit isn't 100% done just yet. Um, I'm kind of thinking what I need to put up here. I feel like I need to put some kind of... I don't know, like a seating area or something that you'd kind of go to um, when you would come out of here. And yeah, that leads straight into this area that I built in the last episode, which I am pretty happy with. It's not a very central way in. Oh, I uh, completely punched that torch off of that fence. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how that looks. And yeah, I, I, I was going to put something here. I'm now not really sure about it, but oh god, look at that, it's a creeper. Since when can they spawn there? I thought I'd lit this up like ages ago. I actually went around because Nugs didn't put many torches anywhere, so I went around and put torches up and up here and here and everything. Um, because no one can actually, they can't actually spawn up there, which is quite helpful, I don't think. Um, so yeah, um, oh no, I may have to kill him. Uh, should we go down there and kill him now? Probably. I don't actually have a bow on me, which isn't particularly helpful. My bow is down in one of them chests over there. Right, let's go kill this creeper then, shall we? And try not to blow the whole staircase up, because that took me a little while to get done. Come on, creeper. Oh, he's not even... He's not even looking at me. Oh, God, he is. <laughs> okay, that scared me. Right, come on, creeper. Bring it. Uh, this time, I'm not going to get set on fire, because that's just embarrassing. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's that's even more embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. Look, he did destroy the staircase. Oh god. Oh, at least they didn't destroy any pistons though. Oh my god, they took me forever to try and get. I don't think I've got any uh, more spruce wood on me right now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was kind of uh, interesting there. Yeah, so I'm going to go and finish maybe the room up there if I come with it, um, up with an idea. If I don't, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll give you credit, of course. And uh, what do you think will fit there? I'm thinking maybe some changing rooms like for like the swimming pool. But then again, I could actually put another staircase similar to that over in this room to get up on that side where the swimming pool actually is. So, not sure what to, I'm going to do there. So, let me know and I will probably do it. Yeah. Oh no, we have another creeper. <laughs> what is with creepers? I never see creepers. I haven't seen a creeper for like ages. And then the other episode, there was one in the uh, shopping centre area. And then there's this guy here. I'm not going to let this one uh, explode on me though this time. Haha, <laughs> I can't actually kill a creeper. Awesome. But anyway, I have come up with an idea out the front, but I'm not sure it's going to work exactly here because what I had planned ages ago, this was here when I built this uh, helicopter slash hypercraft floor. Um, I was going to build a path here so that you can actually make your way down towards the shops. Uh, since there isn't actually really a path along there, there isn't even a path there. There's just no path. Uh, if you had to follow the paths, then I mean. There isn't, there is none. You would have to go across the grass, the grass. So that's not particularly great. So uh, these palm trees may be in the way. I don't want to destroy them though, because I love them. They look awesome. Uh, Nugs did a great job. So I don't know whether or not I should put the, the these this thing that I have come up with here, or whether or not I should put it on this side of the path. It may have to go somewhere completely different. But I thought about these flags. Now there are so many different kinds and different ways of making flags in Minecraft, but these are kind of like the ones that are flat on, you can see them kind of, I don't know, they're not like waving in the wind kind of thing, they're actually like dangling down, more like a tapestry almost, um, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to fit them in. I was going to build it on camera right here, but I don't know if they're going to fit to be honest. Maybe I'll uh, walk around, see where I could put these, maybe I'll put them around that side of the town hall instead or something, and uh, hopefully they're going to look good. I finished up the path and I have attached it to this circle in the middle uh, where are the shops and that are so that we can actually get from the town hall to this area via a path rather than just coming across the grass which kind of looked a little bit empty there isn't really too much going on I've had to leave this tree here uh, because as you can maybe have to see up on it actually uh, have I got an end pearl? I have got an end pearl let's see how well I fail at this uh, there is actually a little 
building thing above here. I think it's still got a sign in it, hasn't it? Yes, Alfie's Hobo Tree Home. Don't chomp, don't chop Bob down. So this is Bob the Tree. He has been here, I think, from the very start, actually. Um, and I've got a feeling like that... Was that Albion on Geomine? I'm not quite sure. Um, but someone similar, I think, had something on Geomine like this. Like a tree with like a little tree house thing in it. And uh, yeah, so this is what the path looks like from above. It's just very, very simple at the moment. I'll definitely add some different things around it. Like we have those wheat things over there. Now, if we go... I don't know if we'll be able to make it all the way over there with an ender pearl. But there is a house over here. I think it's... I want to say it's Drax or Assassin Gamers. I'm I, I'm really bad at remembering. I don't come to the spawn town very often. Um, but as you'll see with their garden... This probably ends up in it. Yeah, it did actually. Um, this garden is very kind of quite wild and there's a lot going on. I mean, not to this extent that I want to add, do that. Um, but like with the wheat kind of, you know, put around like that, you know, really random... Um, I'm definitely thinking that that might look quite nice around the spawn. Um, yeah, it is Assassin Gamers. Okay, I was kind of half right there, at least. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping to do something like that with it. Although it is quite a large area still, so, you know, that kind of thing usually works better in a smaller area. So maybe I will, you know, maybe just try it out next episode or something with uh, a few different things and maybe add in some flags and some different things like that might be kind of cool. But yeah, I think I'll uh, get on with that, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to look pretty cool, actually, yeah. Okay, so I've decided where the flags should go, and, well, my design for the flags may be a little bit too big. Look how, look how big that is. I mean, that's only one of them. The other one would be here, and, oh my god, it just fills up too much space. It's just ridiculous. Uh, it's actually even taller than that. There are going to be some fence posts on top of it. Um, and I would obviously probably have to make it double-sided as well, so from either side you would be able to see it. One, it's way too close to that tree. Two, it's just too big anyway. If I had it more this way, it'd be too close to the palm tree. And actually, I'm thinking, if I do the same kind of design without the stand, I could hang them up on this side of the town hall. I think that would look pretty epic, especially there, since there isn't any, like, foliage or uh, just anything really there that can draw your attention. There isn't any windows or anything. So, uh, actually, let's head to the back. Maybe there's some space here as well, yeah. There is quite a lot of space around it. I'm definitely gonna add some more foliage, some, some like leaves and maybe some vines as well, just so that it gives it a little bit of pop of color in there because it is very kind of plain and simple. And obviously we've got that area up there, which I may do something with like a balcony or something. Uh, I could actually put a balcony there and then hang a flag from the balcony. That would look pretty epic. I, yeah, definitely that would look pretty awesome indeed. But anyway, I'm going to have to end this episode here. As I've said before, um, I kind of am pre-recording these as much as possible so that I can get lots of content out for you guys that is still the kind of same quality. I don't really want to cut down on that because I know that that is kind of, that is kind of what I like to do. I like to have quality over quantity. I don't like to rush episodes. That's why I don't put an episode out a day because... I mean, there really wouldn't be much in it at all. There would be no thought process at all in any of my builds. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the flag art design idea and everything. And if you've got any other ide ideas, especially about what I could put around the town hall, um, other than leaves and things, uh, that would be pretty epic. Because uh, it looks amazing from the front. Like, look at this. That It just looks so cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you guys next time. See ya!